Yeah, this is this is a blind live stream. Yeah. Yeah, it's a blind live stream sneak preview. <laughs> with Close a special your guest. <laughs> Close your eyes. <laughs> Close your eyes. Yeah, just don't watch. Hello, hello. I'm bringing up the chat now, everyone. If I can figure out how to do it. Ever since I started streaming to this channel again, I, like an idiot, just can't even figure out how to watch my own stream. It's sad. <laughs> Da, 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 da. Ah, there it is. Da, da. Gaming with Jordy, what is up? Cheese DJ! Do more Minecraft? I will, don't worry. Try not to yell at me first thing in a stream. Ridiculous. But don't worry, I'll play some more Minecraft. But before we even get into this, I got a tweet all about it. Da, da, da. Share to Twitter only. What? Before you can share your stream, you need to authorize at least. What? It's already. All right. Forget <laughs> that. We're not. I'm not going through all of that. We're not bothering with that. But, guys, we have something very special for you today. And I mean we, because I'm actually joined by Granite Penguin right now. Say hello. Hello. Yay. He's actually. Well, tell me about this game real quick, before we even get started. Alright, so, the short story of this, a uh, board game by Metagaming that was written by Steve Jackson in 1977. So, what we're looking at today is the new computer version that's coming out tomorrow, uh, celebrating the 40th anniversary of the board game. Wow, so this 40. Is, yeah, so this is a computer redo of the board game and uh, there was actually a, a computer version that came out in 1986 for Apple II and Commodore 64 and Amiga. yeah I did see that when I when I was trying to add the tag for this game to it I guess because the game's not out until tomorrow for the public it's not actually on YouTube system yet so it actually came up the uh, 1986 version so that was pretty interesting. It'd be yeah. fun to check that out sometime. But you're actually you're a fan of this game, right? Yeah, I've I've been playing this uh, since about 1978. Oh wow! Uh, started when I was in second grade, so I've been playing it basically my whole life. Oh great, Zoe, what's up? Welcome to the chat. All right, well let's get started and we'll continue our conversation. Now we're only allowed to show you one aspect of this game as a sneak preview for you guys because this game isn't out until tomorrow we're allowed to show you this mark 3 attack and basically they said that this is a very a very well known version of uh i guess the tabletop game like a lot of people would recognize this yeah this is this is the game uh the original scenario for the original game. Ah, cool. So we play as what? Just one small tank? And we have to go up against all of these? Well, it's one big tank one against big. everything else. Uh, so well, I guess we should probably take a look at the tank, huh? Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll get a good chance to look at it here. So here it is, the Mark III. All right. So should we go like left, right, middle? All right. So middle will be fine. Okay. Uh, you know, basically, in terms of actually being able to do something effective, mm -hmm. what you really have to worry about is the different types of tanks and stuff like that. So, okay. so if you look around the map a little bit, uh, what we can see right in front of us are the GEVs. Those are the ground effect vehicles. They're okay. hovercrafts and uh, the heavy tanks. So those are the ones that have uh, some of the biggest punch in the game. Oh, yeah? And then the, uh, the second line, further up the map, uh, that's where you get into more of the, uh, the missile tanks, some more heavy tanks, infantry. Uh, and what they're all doing is they're trying to protect the command post that's in the back of the map. Okay. 
And so that was the, um... Oh, I was just adjusting the volume. That's this thing, right? The command post? Yep, that's it. Okay. All so right. That, so that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get through everybody and blow that up. All right. And then get off, get off the bottom of the map if we can. All so, right. Sounds good. What we really want to do is destroy everything. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Jordan, yeah. what is up? Welcome back to the stream. All right, so we can double click and move. Good, perfect. All right, so the way this works is you get a movement phase, and then you get a fire phase, okay. and then the, and then the other guy does the same thing. Right. But one thing that's special about the hovercraft that's right in front of you, they get to move twice. Oh, uh, so, that's so they not move, fair. That's so they cheating. move. Yeah, they move, they shoot, and then they run away. Oh, uh, okay. Um, now, they can't move as far yep, Jordan. The, the, the second phase, but they can still move. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Can we, we can't move anymore, right? No. no. So, right. so we, we move three hexes per turn. Okay. And we have 45 treads. So every time we lose 15, we slow down. Oh. So, so when we get to 30, we can only move two hexes per turn. When we get to 15, we can only move one hex per turn. Uh. I've got to say, the Mark III looks pretty badass. <laughs> yeah, that, and that it's is uh, crazy looking. Yeah, and it's one of the one of the smaller ogres that are actually in the game. So when you start getting into some of the really ugly stuff, this guy doesn't look like much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the uh, the thing you see on all the pictures is mm -hmm. actually the Mark the Mark V ogre, and that's got like. Uh, 20, I didn't like even 20... notice that they seem different. Yeah, so it's got like twice as much of everything. Yeah, wow. so, yeah, I wouldn't do that. Wouldn't? No, I would not. Oh, it'll work. It'll work. Yeah, it but, looked like it worked. <laughs> but it, but it's overkill. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't take a look at the weapons or anything. <laughs> so I guess, I guess we can't do anything else now. We just have to let them go. No, uh, no. I think you've got one more shot. I think the. Oh, you think you can hit him? I think the heavy tank down might still be in range. What this? Oh, oh no! Attack, no attackers remaining, huh? Oh, uh, okay. So did we, we fire? Gotta... Did we fire both missiles at it? We did. Yeah, I did. Yeah, twelve. Man. Oh, you, bye, yeah. Zoe. Well, thank you for joining us. <laughs> oh, and Jordan, this is uh, Granite Penguin on the line with me. By the way, you probably recognize him from the stream, the love stream. <laughs> So yeah, what we did is we wiped this thing off the face of the earth. Yeah, with, <laughs> with giant, massive amounts of overkill. <laughs> yeah, that that's okay. Yeah, we'll, right. we'll have plenty. Of, we'll have plenty of opportunities to do more. Oh, good. Can we take a lot of so, damage? I guess. Yeah. So if you so if you take a quick look at the ogre itself, mm -hmm. uh, if, you, if you click on it, you should be able to see the list of everything that's there. Um, but basically, what you're going to run into is everything else on the board is uh, a single unit that has one attack. Uh, okay. So, so they're all they're they're turn right now. They're all moving in closer and trying to uh, beat you up. So, they all get one shot a piece. The ogre has multiple weapons on it. So we have one main battery, four secondary batteries, eight anti-personnel guns, and the 45 treads. So you can actually ram stuff and just destroy it by physically driving over it. Oh, so when it's our turn to move, we can drive over this guy here and then maybe shoot at these two? Yeah. Sweet. The, yeah, so now the little guys, those hovercrafts, they're going to run away after they're done shooting. Right. But their their range is all two hexes for firing, so that's why they're in where they are. They don't want to get up right next to you mm -hmm. because they don't because they don't need to. The infantry has to be right next to you to be able to shoot. Okay, they look pretty cool too. Yeah, yeah, and they're pretty fun, with and they die and they die in fun ways too. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh no, taking hits. All right. So yeah, that doesn't surprise we'll me. We'll be fine. Well, Not even phased. Alright, so we lost the main battery.
Oh, uh, okay. Well, let me know later. I'm in the middle of the live stream. Yeah. You want to say right. hi to everyone? Hi, everyone. <laughs> My roommate, Nick. With hi. the puppies. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, cool. All right. Our turn. Can we run him over? <laughs> this this uh, heavy tank here. All right. Yeah, we can definitely run him over. All right, beautiful. So, Let's do that then. All right, so we'll start there. So if we drive into him, uh, that'll be two spaces, and then we'll have a third space that we can move. Sweet. Confirm the ram. Heck yeah. You done, son? Maybe. And oh. all right. So, sorry. So he's so he's disabled. Okay. So basically, when you ram, you've got a die roll of one to three. It disables it. Four to six destroys it. So we were able to disable it, and that's it. Okay. But so for what now seeing, he's out of the fight. Yeah, he's out of the fight. Um, but there's nothing else that we're going to be able to get close enough to. So I think we're probably better off to move forward for our third our third space. Okay. Not, not back as far as we can go. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So we'll go up. Go up that way. Oh, he's smoking. And yep. I don't. Think All right, we can so reach him? No. Oh I yeah, no. you can. Yeah, no, we can't get to any of him. All we can do is get to the guy that we rammed. Oh, so, well, yeah, we must so well finish the job. Yeah, so that's that's four hexes away, where pretty much where everybody is. Mm -hmm. So what we're worried about is we with the secondary batteries, we can only reach two hexes. So that's what we're going to be going for. Epic gamer, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Why are these disabled? Or this one's disabled. That's All right. destroyed. So, so the reason why the uh, the main battery on top is destroyed. That's why we can't use it. Yeah. Uh, the missiles are single shot. So you fire two missiles, and you know, use them, and you lose them. So uh, the only so the only weapons that are permanent are the main battery, secondary battery, and anti personnel. Okay. The anti the anti personnel are useless against tanks. So that's why it's disabled. Uh, so, so that okay, that makes sense. It's like why yeah. bother even trying to use that? Exactly. All right, for it's for dumb people like me that would be like anti personnel. We can shoot a tank with that. Great. Yeah. All right. So now the way this game works is you've got an attack strength and a defense strength. Mm -hmm. so, so the attack strength on the uh, secondary battery is a three. The okay. defense the defense strength on the heavy tank is also a three. Okay. So in the old board game, that would give you a one-to-one -one ratio. Jordan's so in shock over your voice. <laughs> <It's funny. laughs> she thought you were a girl, no offense. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what? I'm not. I know, and listen to his voice. He has like a radio voice. He could be a disc jockey. It would be great. And be careful drinking that monster. We don't need you going all crazy in a live stream, okay? <laughs> just little yeah, sips. Really. All right, so we could probably <laughs> hit this guy just once, and he'd be dead. Yeah. Dead. So, it, but what'll happen is that'll give you a one to one odds. So you would have a th uh, five or six will destroy it. A four, oh. um, a three, a three or four will disable it. But because it's already disabled, mm -hmm. a second disable will destroy it. So basically, a three and up will destroy it. Uh, all right. But so, you, if you roll, if you roll a one or two, you'll miss. So, so is there like any like I don't have to worry about wasting ammunition? So can I hit them just like four times with it? Yeah, you could you could load them all. You could load them all up, and it'll show you on the bottom uh, what your odds of hitting it are. So if you add a second one, uh, okay. third one, fourth one, so yeah. it'll tell you, and you get a five, and it. Wipe it out anyway. But <laughs> <laughs> Overkill all the time. But that's but that's some of the strategy of the game is being <laughs> able to being able to split up your stuff in terms of you know only using as much as you need when you're trying to do it and take multiple little shots instead of one big shot. Yeah. Right, especially yeah, since that, you're one big thing up against so many smaller things. Right. So you want to maximize your shots as much as. Right. But that's what, but that's what makes this game cool, uh, and why it's lasted for forty years. Because you got to try to think all of that stuff through. All right, so now those missile, those missile tanks that are up in front of you. Yeah, they're they're getting close, huh? 
Yeah, those those have a range of four hexes. Okay. So, you know, that's one of the other things that over time you get used to is, you know, how close two things have to get before they can start shooting you. Right. Jordan, I always preferred the, uh, oh, what is it called? Amped energy drinks. Those are my favorite because they kind of taste like Mountain Dew. I'm not really a fan of Monster. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a Dew guy myself. Yeah, yeah. That and Rockstar is not bad. I've, I've been reduced to Diet Dew, but... Diet Dew, oh no. That's actually not terrible, though. Out of out of all the diet stuff that I've tried, that's the least diet -y, if, yeah. if that's a word. Moonlight, do you do a live every day? When I'm not, like, incredibly lazy, I do. <laughs> I try to. I'm either, I'm probably even gonna stream to Twitch after this, depending on how long this takes. This is probably gonna be a long game. I mean, they're not... Yeah, it's looking it's gonna, fine right it's now. Gonna, it's gonna go faster than you think. Oh that yeah. Was, you know that was one of the things that was cool. Game uh, when it came out. All right, so what I would do. Let's see what we got. Those Run games. over him, maybe. Well, because um, I want to stay the, away from these guys, right? So I don't really want to go over here. Yeah, what I would uh, do is I would I would run into the heavy tank. Okay. And then move up towards the other heavy tank. All right. So you'll get the ram, and then nice. you'll put yourself in position to take two more shots. Nice. All right. All right. That's so there's another perfect. disable. All right. And then we'll fire on him. Yep. With. So, yeah, I would start with the one that can shoot back. Yeah. So maybe so, just do two on him, and then two on the guy behind me. I would do one. And see how it goes. Okay. Fire! Oh, <laughs> I like to I like to fire and then like duck away from the action so I miss everything because I don't like to watch violence. And right, I totally sorry. didn't even notice what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good, Moonlight. How are you, Wolf Laws? What's up? All right, so you got a, another disable, so that's one that can't shoot back. So let's go after the GEB. Okay. The hovercraft. I like your strategy. You've obviously yeah. have played this before. Oh, I forgot. Once or online. twice. <laughs> <laughs> so what Five. I like doing it what I like doing is I like trying to maximize the number of things that can't shoot back each turn. Yeah, that is a very good point. So I guess so, we're not in range of anything else, so just No, so now we start so now we start cleaning up on the disabled stuff. Yeah. Let's get this guy behind us first. I don't like people behind me. No, behind is bad. I don't appreciate you being behind me. Go away. Three? Ooh. Enough. <laughs> and guess what, buddy? I'm sorry to have to do this to you. It was a pleasure meeting you and all, but... Goodbye. Two? Well, we tried. <laughs> yeah, but he still can't shoot back. Oh, yeah? Is he permanently disabled? One turn. Uh, so, okay. So he won't be able to move his turn, and he will still be disabled for your next turn. All right. So if he's still on the board after your next turn, he'll come back. Gotcha. But based on where everybody's moving, I'm going to say, no, he's not going to be there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're starting to get into infantry territory here. Yeah. It's interesting, they're all doing individual squads. So infantry is kind of interesting. How so? They can combine up to three squads in one hex, hmm. and, their and their defensive value goes up. So if there's one squad there, it's a defense of one. But if there's three squads there, they have a defense of three. Oh. So, it so it takes a lot more to, to shoot them. Hmm. Let's go. Hey, you stop that. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff happening here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we okay? We look okay. Yeah, I'm probably doing fine. What do you think? Better Sorry. run away. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. Uh Jordan, how do we know each other? Um just from YouTube, just he joined my streams 
when we talked there. And this is a game that he actually played when it was a board game a long time ago. And the, what was it, the developers were giving away access keys for, like, development purposes? Like, you you got to play this game, too, before it comes out, right? Yeah, I actually got to do some of the beta testing for it over the last couple of weeks. Okay. So, yeah, so the, really the majority of September, um, I had access to it. Now, I would drive right in the middle. So don't run him over, too? Well, or that's should... okay. He that's... can do that, too. Um, but what I was looking at is getting in position and trying to shoot at missile tanks. Right. So if it was me, I would have driven into the middle one and then drive to where that infantry is. Um, because because then you'd be able to reach that other missile tank. Alright. But that's okay. Alright, so okay. the AP so the AP guns, we might as well have fun with that. Yeah, uh, true. One, one quirk with the AP guns. They mm -hmm. only have a they only have a range of one, so that's the only infantry you're gonna be able to shoot at. Okay. And so you can see that's actually lit up now. But right. load up load up on it because you can only shoot at infantry once per turn with AP guns. So if you gotcha. shot at him and if you shot at him and missed, then you wouldn't be able to shoot at him again with the AP guns. Oh, okay. And then... because you and because you load it up, the one it's an auto kill anyway. Right. And now what is his his defense is only a two? Yep. So... But, it's still, but it's still a one to one ratio, so it's actually the same as it would be for the heavy tank. Book lovers, how long have I had the game? I actually just got the, the preview code today. We've been talking, me and Granite Penguin and someone from the, the studio that makes this game have been talking about um, me playing this game for a little bit. Now I just, I finally got around to it, and it's good because it actually it comes out tomorrow. So, and the link is in the description to the Steam page. If you want to put it on your wish list now, if you're liking this, go ahead and feel free to do that. Were you saying I should use two? I'm sorry, I'm trying to keep along with the chat, too, at the same time. You're tired, Jordan? <laughs> Alright, well, rolling a one with the three to one, that at least makes sure it disabled it. Yeah. So typic typically I wouldn't do that, but, you know, it worked out. So you still have two more shots. Um, uh, you know, I would at least shoot the heavy tank because it's going to come back. Right. So, so I would so I would make sure it doesn't bother you next turn. Right. So so Bye. take one take one shot. See how uh, it goes. Yeah, it didn't go well. <laughs> so take the other shot and see how yeah. it goes. This is what this is why I do do this. I do individual shots. Yeah. For for the math people out there, the statistics are better with individual one-to-one -one shots instead of taking a single two-to-one shot. Uh, and if it if the first one hits, you get a free shot at something else with the second shot. That was a very good point. This is definitely, well, I mean, it is a strategy game. And that sounds like a good strategy. <laughs> I've got I've to gotta get on my strategy game. Yeah, you know, like I said, this is not my first rodeo. I've yeah. been playing this thing way too long. <laughs> <laughs> so I've always played a lot of um, real-time strategy games, like Red Alert and like Command and Conquer, those type of games. Not yep. really this type of game. I have played a little bit of XCOM too, which is kind of that. Yeah, that's yeah. No, it's very similar to that. <laughs> I just I lost my English for a second there. I was trying to think <laughs> about saying the right words. My brain stopped working. It was terrible. Uh, you little bastard! All right. Oh, so You're we're getting... gonna we're gonna start having a problem with those two GEBs that are left. Yeah. But you're not gonna really be able to chase them. So where I would go is right in that middle hex, mm -hmm. where where you can reach all three missile tanks. Okay. Oh, so right here. The one next to the crater. Yeah, that one. Oh. So that way you're that way you're two hexes away from all three of them. Okay, you can do it. Uh -oh. Yeah, you'll have, 
you got to click on yourself to, to move and then oh, see geez, where you're going. Okay. So you're gonna, uh, so you're gonna, you're just gonna be running into a bunch of infantry. Huh. Is so it what because it does, of the terrain I can't go like that? No, Does that limit it? No, it's because the infantry are in your way. Because you got to oh, decide. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You, yeah. Got to figure out who you're ramming first. Oh, so, poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> Love the sound. I know that was great. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Moonlight, you got a sub? Awesome. Who just subbed to you? Oh, good. Everybody subscribed to each other. That's wonderful. All right, so yeah, so we done. could, so we could actually move a third hex, but I don't want to because okay. I want to make sure we can shoot at all three tanks. All right, so it's a right click to stop your. All right, so now I guess it doesn't matter. We'll just take a little yeah. one. One shots at everyone. Yep. Start with the ones that can shoot back. <laughs> hmm. You still got to end your phase because I think you're still in the mood. Oh, okay. I thought that said end turn for a second there. That's why I got a little, a little nervous. Yeah. No, I've I've pulled that before where I ended early and was loaded up to fire and never did. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. It's when I was. It's yeah. very depressing. <laughs> I did that same thing when I... I always load up games to make sure that I could actually play them first. Just, you know, make sure the settings are all right and all that good stuff. Yeah. And that was one of the first things I did, was just, like, with mess messing around with it for a second, I was like, oh, totally just ended my turn. All right, so, yeah, go after that one, because he's going to come back. We've got a full turn for the other one. Boom! Goodbye! Yep. Alright, All right. so we've got an interesting choice here. We can either finish off that tank or we can shoot it in infantry. Um, Let's shoot an in infantry. I don't want to have to run all of them over, you know? Alright, well if you're going to shoot one, shoot one that's two hexes away. Oh, good point. Or just use the AP guns. Um, no. So, so use... So, yeah, if you want to cancel it, go ahead and oh, cancel geez, it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. And goodbye. I want to see what this looks like. <laughs> you made that noise again. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> that almost sounds like a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be the new Minecraft chicken. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so we got four AP guns. Oh, did we miss? Oh, jeez. No, oh, did we forget? Totally we, surrounded. we didn't. We didn't shoot our AP guns. No, oh yeah, okay. I just lobbed one over. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Oh, the gun sounds cool. Yeah. So they're probably shooting at your treads, trying to slow you down. And they, sh and they show you the stats in the top right of what your attack is doing. Oh, uh, okay. Alright. So. All right. Well, now, he's still down, oh, so we don't have now, to worry about him. Yeah, he'll come back next turn, but... Yeah. Should we go after Dry, these guys? Go after them. Yeah. They were, they were stupid. They <laughs> didn't go far enough away, so we're going to make them pay for it. There you go. All so, right. You're my first target. Goodbye. Yep. <laughs> yeah, you got it. And you? Oh. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> um, should I? Oh, I forgot. Yeah, that's all. All we could do for moving. Yeah. Yeah. So, because you can see right now, we're only we're only able to move two hexes per turn now. Uh, because we of the could... tread thing, right? Right. So if we don't take these GEVs out now, we're going to have a lot of problems. Oh, Huge. because because when you can only fire two hexes and can only move two hexes, they can get close enough to shoot you and run away, and you can never hit them. Uh, and they will just pester you until the day you die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so they do seem like a pest. Yeah, so finish him off. 
Oh, I'm gonna have to waste all of my ammo on this dude. That's all right. <laughs> this Believe is this me. has got to be the one. Goodbye. Yes. You done, son? There you go. <laughs> Bye, noon light. Thanks for joining. I'll hey. see you next time. Hey, guess who's here? Say hello. Hi. Hey, Skull Out, what is up? Made it back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna risk turning the computer on here. All right. I don't know if you're gonna want to see this. It's <laughs> terrible. Are they done already? Oh, yeah, I forgot. I guess yeah, Jordan, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> you're. Jordan, how awesome is this of a live stream? <laughs> what even is your life anymore? <laughs> Jordan, we're gonna have to get you in on a stream sometime. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I think I think you've got uh, I think you've got the idea here. Yeah, I'm really, I'm actually, I'm really glad that you, um, you joined me for the stream because you have some very, very good strategies. Stuff that, like I, like I said, playing only, um, uh, real-time strategies. Yeah. Uh, I don't, I don't really think of strategies like this. You know, like considering just taking one shot and then like one shot and moving. I think of everything in real time where you just like, if your tanks are going to drive over infantry, they're just going to plow them over. But yep. it's it's cool because it takes a lot more thought than I'm used to. I'm not used to using my brain so much for video games. <laughs> Wolf lovers, thank you. I appreciate that. Would you like to hear a chicken die? <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> It's wonderful. They should probably all just run away, like... What are you guys thinking? <laughs> you stand hey. no chance. <laughs> they're, they're thinking that if they don't stop you, someone else is gonna kill them anyway. <laughs> so they might as well. <laughs> so yeah, you're in pretty good shape right now. Yeah, like this is gotta... all we got to deal with. Oh, and then we go take that thing out? Yeah. But what I would do is I would clean up the infantry. Oh, yeah. Because you're slowed down, so they're still fast enough to, to keep up with you. Right. So, just keep driving into the middle of them and keep shooting at them. No, 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 no. Overkill! Oh! Oh, what was the uh, the hourglass symbol? I noticed that before, but I never actually asked. Uh, in the designer's edition of the game, five years ago, um, the dice that are in the game, these are actually models of the dice. So, the red ones, that's the symbol for the uh, North American Combine, which is basically uh, the North American Army that's in the game oh, and okay. and the spartan helmet is the pan-european federation so when it's the blue guys attacking they roll the blue dice and you'll occasionally see the, the spartan helmet and when you're attacking as the combine you see the hourglass so those are the one pip on the dice so right. you know so a lot of you know, there was a huge debate uh, when the, when the board game was re-released about whether that should represent the six for the hit or the one for the, you know, the one on a die. It's like, you know. And the way Steve Jackson does all their stuff, uh, all their munchkin dice, uh, that's always been their one on the die. You know, so it's a single thing, so it's a one. Um, you know, so a lot of games, they like using the picture to represent the cool stuff. Like when you roll a six for a hit, yay, I killed it. Um, but that's not really how this game works. So you're better off to, 
to not do it that way. <laughs> gotcha. Jordan, what are you sorry about? That my asshole. How how are you guys enjoying this game? It's gonna it's gonna take like five years to get over here. Yeah. <laughs> you could just like yell at him and just give it up. <laughs> this this is about the point where it was. <laughs> In the, in the options, there is a surrender button when you're playing against another person. Yeah. But the AI, they just... Uh... Yeah. There's, I, there's I always... have to have... I want to see that victory screen. That's why like, I have to do it, even though this is going to take like two years. <laughs> I have to get over there. I want to see what's going to happen. Yeah, un un unless they've changed things. <laughs> Nearly there. Yep. One more turn. Oh, wait. I can shoot out of that, can I? Yep. Oh, can we? Turn. Yes. <laughs> I'm just going to not even <laughs> waste a bullet. Three mile two, no, we're victorious. <laughs> All right. Great. <laughs> well, <laughs> that was that was very interesting. And I don't know. I wish we could show more of this game because obviously this isn't the only part of the game they have different I don't what would you call them like maps or like setups yeah so what you've got is the original game ogre came with this map and a couple of scenarios right. so it's basically what we played now and there's another version of it where you play it with a mark 5 ogre that basically has twice as much stuff as the but you're also fighting against you know, a lot more tanks and infantry. And that, um, that was the one that I used for the, the thumbnail for this video? Yeah. Right. So it's, uh, and then you've got different variations. One is a Mark III defending. So you take the Mark V that's attacking, and then you have the defense actually have an ogre too. So they've got a smaller ogre plus some other tanks. And uh, that gets and that gets kind of interesting because now you've got all that concentrated firepower that you're trying to use and start getting into ogres ramming ogres and, and that kind of stuff. Um, the other things you know that you're that you're talking about when uh, GEV came out. Uh, so ogre came out in '77, came out in '78, and mm -hmm. what that and what that introduced is all the other stuff that you're seeing. Um, it introduces terrain, um, so things like uh, swamps and forests and roads and nice. ri rivers. So uh, you can get road bonuses so things can go faster. Uh, the GEVs use the rivers and the lakes as roads and move faster on water. Um, you've got uh, things can get stuck in the swamps. Uh, get disabled by trying to go into the forest and the infantry actually start doing well because in this game they basically just get in the way uh, but, okay. but in the other maps where you have the paint they get different bonuses like so if you've got a squad of three infantry that has a, a defense of three and put them in a town they have a triple defense they're a d9 so you need to throw a lot of stuff at it just to have a 33 percent chance yeah you know, so they're uh, so they're much more resilient but you know a lot of the stuff that they're that they're talking about you know adding to adding to this game uh, is really pulling in a lot of the pieces of you know, scenarios and expansions that have been developed over the last 40 years that's awesome. So, uh, and this uh, game is available for everyone tomorrow. If you thought yeah. it was interesting, they were the, one of the... That, the guy that I've been talking to, he's the um, the producer of it, right? I think so. Yeah, he was saying something about possibly just giving me a key to the actual game when it comes out. So if you got a copy of it too, maybe we can play each other sometime. And you can just totally kick my ass, probably in like two seconds. <laughs> but it would be interesting, because that... That was a lot of fun. I definitely, I feel like I learned a lot. But like I said, we couldn't really show you any more. That was all we're actually allowed to show you. I might mess around with a little bit of stuff when we get done this. But um, 
I guess I'm going to have to go ahead and end the stream there. Uh, I don't really feel like s not streaming anymore, so I'm actually, I am going to stream to Twitch probably 10 to 15 minutes after I get done here. Probably going to play some Prison Architect. I've been dying to play that game, but that's pretty much it for this live stream. Granite Penguin, I'd like to thank you very much for uh, hooking me up with these developers and getting me a copy of this so we could check it out early before it's even released. And even hopping on and actually explaining me how the game works because if it wasn't for you, that probably... I Is it really hard to lose that? or I uh, probably would have lost that. <laughs> no, it, it's definitely possible that uh, I... Like like I said, I do have a slight advantage playing the game. Uh, yeah. I have I have been doing it for a little while, but you know, it, especially when you get into the Mark V, and there's a lot more stuff on the map. Um, the Mark III game, there's a, a small enough number of things that it's pretty easy to manage where right. everything is and keep them from you know, harassing you too much. Yeah, but it's, but it's a lot harder when things start getting behind you, and you've got to decide: Do I backtrack? Do I try to go forward? Right. Um, and they only they only showed some of the the core units in that. Uh, there's some other bigger units. There's howitzers that have long range shots. Oh, cool! Uh, you know, so there's so there's some more variations on the types of things that be on the battlefield on top of it. Right. So there's a lot more than we can show you guys here today, but. Yeah, but this is this is pretty this is pretty representative of what's there. So it's awesome. All right, well, I'm gonna have to go ahead and end the stream there. I am gonna be streaming to Twitch probably in about maybe like 15 minutes. I know I don't even need that long of a break. I don't even think this stream was that long at all. I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye, Skull Out. Bye, Granite Penguin. Bye, Jordan. Hey, uh, bye, bye, everybody. Have a good night. Maybe I'll see some of you guys over there on Twitch. If not, I'll see you. Probably tomorrow night I'll be live streaming Bye. something. <laughs> Bye, Skull Owl. All right. All right well, thanks again, Granite Penguin. Yeah, cool. Thanks for having me. Oh, no problem.